First alert tonight for storms overnight. They could impact your morning drive tomorrow. Yep, Chief Meteorologist Emily Roller joins us now with a look at your six first alert forecast. Yeah, for now, no sign of those oncoming thunderstorms. We have sunshine, but quite windy. You can see this flag blowing around out at 90th and Dodge. The wind is going to be the main issue for the rest of this evening. For most of the viewing area, we're tracking a very slight chance for thunderstorms after 7 p.m. Likely staying mainly out to the north and west of the metro. As we get into early tomorrow morning, however, this is why we are on first alert. Six first alert weather day through Tuesday morning because of that threat for ongoing thunderstorms through your morning commute as well as a severe weather risk. So let's time all of this out on the hour by hour forecast. We're picking this up right now. We have sunny skies, temperatures in the 80s. We're going to stay warm and dry for the remainder of the early evening. As we move past about six, we'll be watching for some increasing clouds out to the northwest. And then by about eight o'clock on, our storm chances will be increasing for spots like Norfolk and Columbus. Really isolated storm chance tonight, but these early evening thunderstorms that develop tonight that continue into the late night hours could be on the stronger side. So there is that isolated severe threat. Very few see these thunderstorms, however. Getting into the overnight hours might see a couple of thunderstorms pop up out across western Iowa that could bring in an isolated severe threat as well. But the main thing that we're watching out for this is a line of storms that's going to be moving in early tomorrow morning. So you can see that starting to travel in from the west by about 3 a.m. That's showing up. This is that main realm that we're tracking for that impact to your Tuesday morning drive. The timing for this is after 5 a.m. west of the metro and then for the metro after about 6 to 7 a.m. So the time frame for this, unfortunately, the heaviest rain likely is falling throughout that morning commute. We could see some hail with this as well as some strong wind gusts. So there is that isolated severe threat after 10 a.m. Main window of concern is going to be pushing out over western Iowa. Still have that strong thunderstorm threat, heavy downpours by midday. Most of this has cleared out and we're going to try and rebound and warm up quickly into the early to mid afternoon. By about four o'clock, we'll be watching for another round of showers, maybe some weaker thunderstorms that do start to circulate back in for the second half of our Tuesday. So a couple rounds of rain here. The bulk of this is going to fall through the first half of the day on Tuesday. Take a look at our rain total. Some spots could see over an inch of rain. So this is going to be a soaking round of rain for a lot of us through the first half of the day tomorrow, adding on very minimal amounts with that spotty activity that moves in by Tuesday evening. High temperatures Tuesday also going to see a little bit of a split. We have a cold front on its way in ahead of that front. We're going to reach for a high of 77 around the Metro Plattsmith in the upper 70s, but out to the west quite a bit cooler. 59 around Columbus, 60 around Norfolk and everyone cools down as we head into Wednesday and beyond. High temperatures dropping to the mid 60s Wednesday for the Metro 50s on Thursday. Another round of showers in the morning and then heading into the weekend. We are staying cool and and breezy bit of a rebound on the way heading into next work week with high temperatures climbing back to the 70s by the following Tuesday you can stay on top of the forecast by downloading our six first alert weather app. You can find that free in the app store. Be watching closely for any of those thunderstorms that do manage to develop tonight. Really isolated severe risk tomorrow morning. That main concern. Yeah, so bizarre. We go from the beautiful weather we have now to those thunderstorms. Crazy. Yeah, I kind of like summer better than spring. <laughs> yep. <laughs> A little bit more consistent. Absolutely. Thanks, Emily. A new